My God loves me. Ain't no way you, you know, my God and he ain't finna do me like that. Okay. My God loves me. Yeah, say, bro. If I'm 32 in verge, I would fucking kill myself, bro. No way you 30. In yeah, one. Yeah, all you did is get no bitches. <laughs> he like he get no bitches, right? He like he get bitches. He definitely get no bitches. What? It was this nigga? <laughs> what? All right, y'all boys. We got six fucking virgins versus one fate. I feel like we should be able to get this shit easily. Easily. Because I'm pretty sure I can spot out a certain nigga that's capping like a motherfucker. So let's see. I'm a virgin. And 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 I'm a virgin. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We about to pick them out right now. I'm Pre a virgin. Preview I'm a guess. Virgin. I'm a virgin. And I'm a virgin. It is definitely this dude. Look at his cut. Ain't no bitch fucking someone like this. With that haircut. And look how you smile. And I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. It could definitely be him too. Do that Jeff Dahmer stepdaddy. Virgin. I'm, I'm a virgin. So I thought it could be the brother. The black nigga. Three or four? Hell yeah. Why are you virgins? I grew up like Christian, so well, my mom was the main one that was like, make sure you wait, make sure you wait, and so. This nigga's dead, not a virgin. No I don't know, it kind of stuck with me. But for me, I line. grew up religious no like way. you, but I'm 20 now, so even for the past three years, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the religious aspect anymore, I'm just bad with women. Keep it real, I'm Muslim. For me, it's like, why not just wait and do it through the Sharia, do it through the Dean, because you know, it's not worth going to hellfire for me. So for me, it's kind of a lot of reasons. One, I was a super late bloomer. I only felt sexual attacked for the first time like four years ago. Looking like I do, women usually aren't like bursting to get down on this. So I haven't had anything sort of just like fall into my lap. Yeah, it's, it's not a priority right now. Does, it, does anyone know about sexual transmutation? What? No. Essentially, the desire you have. A deflection of sexual instincts into non-sexual activity. Based upon principle akin to the conservation of energy in physics. To have sex is a very strong desire. Especially if you're a man, put it into the work. Put it into the gym. Watch what will happen. You will hit every goal. So that's kind of my reason. Yeah. Nice. I want to do it no. because I generally like want something from you and with you, not for just a simple like. So it has. I believe him. To do with Christianity as well. It talks about in Romans, offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, which is a good and reasonable, reasonable, I'm underlining, reasonable service. It's a gift that I want to give to my future wife. How old is everyone here, by the way? 22. 20. 22. 23. 26. I'm 32. 32. Dude, respect to you, man, for waiting. Th Damn! Two? And you ain't never. Wait, let's talk about that though. Because if you are not married by 32, you will still be a virgin, correct? Yeah, but my God, and he ain't finna do me like that. <laughs> my God loves me. Ain't no way you, you what? Know, my God, and he ain't finna do me like that. Okay. My God loves me. Yeah, say, bro. If I'm 32 in a virgin, I would fucking kill myself, bro. No way you 32 in a virgin. I'm just <laughs> I'm in a way, get him out of here. I'm just yeah. Get him out of here, bro. It seemed like he wanted to present the extreme of his religion. Wait, are they trying to pick who the virgin is? Or the fake one? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> tell us how you felt. Oh, it was black. Black thing. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was never black thing, nigga. They know we can't pick this nigga. I'm <laughs> Ask you, like, you're yeah. 32, how does that go? How does it go? It goes, it goes rough. I mean, my body is ready. I want that. I want to be married, but oh, I you're put not more a virgin. value on my walk. Nigga, like, fucking Chris Hansworth. Is that nigga from the door? Nigga's There's not a virgin. Way. Future wife. Have you been in those opportunities where, like, he look, he like he get no bitches, right? He like he get bitches. He definitely get no bitches. Maybe I could have had. He he get bitches because he's got long hair, blonde hair. He like he like Chris Hemsworth, the nigga from Thor. I hope that's his name. Many opportunities, but I keep myself away from those types of things. Has everybody dated before, or have you guys had significant others? I I only had one girlfriend, so. Yeah, me too. I've only had one girlfriend. I've had two. Uh, I've had a who? Name of like handful. <laughs> I never really had an official boyfriend, okay. but like I had seen like two people. Yes. So I'll go out like on dates and whatnot, but nothing really official. And have you guys? Kissed? Yeah, Playboy. Kissed? Yeah, yes. Yeah, 
Nothing beyond the... Uh, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. One Good of my long, uh, relationships was entirely long distance. She was in Portugal the whole time. Oh, wow. So, like, my lips don't really stretch across the ocean very well. <laughs> Have you guys ever fell in love before? For sure. Okay. Uh, really? Even though you never dated anybody? Yeah, for sure. Or... I'm, I'm a very... You can still follow somebody and y'all didn't date. Yeah. I think I don't know about that. Passionate person. When I was younger, um, obviously you have like those high school crushes and whatnot. I don't want to flex or anything, but my car outside, I bought it by myself. It's like 120K. I opened my own company and that's all because I've stayed focused and not let myself become a part of, you know, like what's going on in society. I have a question for you in the last five seconds. I, I feel like a lot of people accomplish a lot of things while still having sex and you just make time for it or you can just like fap and forget about it like yeah but when they when they do engage in that type of stuff they go through a heartbreak they could be successful but they have hey, a heartbreak is the best thing for you bro getting your heart broken makes your ass want to grind fucking hard bro oh god you know it's kind of ass they gotta get heartbroken for your ass to be locked in but shit happens bro i've had like this battle before all that happened. He kept talking about like his mindset and grind set and it reminded me of like American Psycho and that guy Pretty much if you talk a lot, you're getting voted out. Pretty much. Get your bitch Dang, ass out of here, pretty boy. I, I thought I'd be eliminated uh, right away. But I've had down, uh. naked woman climb on top of me and I, I still say no. And then the next day, I go submit three loans and make like $10,000. Interesting. Cool. Um, Interesting. If you think the mole is still in the box and you wish yes, to continue this... playing the game, please raise your hand. Wow. Oh, interesting. I didn't think y'all were going to raise your hand. I have a bit of a accusation. Wait, I'm so confused. Are they, are they voting out? Oh, there's six versions. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Damn. Fuck. Yeah, this nigga, hold on. He definitely was a fake one. Definitely. Definitely. I'm thinking they're trying to vote out who the virgin is, but six of my virgins in one. Damn, all you did is get no bitches. <laughs> I mean, they all get bitches. They probably just didn't fuck. But damn, bro, that's crazy. Interesting. Cool. I was talking um, shit. Think so I'm thinking at least one of them still in the bird. box, and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. Wow. Oh, interesting. I didn't think y'all were well, going well, I have a bit of a hey. accusation. Anyway, he's 32 and not a virgin. Vote this nigga out right here. Right here. And so, Alex, I think that you made a mistake and you're here rather to promote that virginity till marriage would have been the better option. Yeah. I've definitely been in the situations where uh, me and my girlfriend were making out and, and there definitely were scenarios that we could have uh, gone farther than that. This is gonna sound bad, but I'm just too scared of my mom to be like, hey, I had sex. <laughs> but you only didn't have sex because of your mom. When I turned 16, 17, that was when um, I really started uh, diving into the Bible and, and reading more into it and, and kind of creating it for my own, and so. What uh, denomination is your church? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't know which denomination it is, but um, okay. we're Christians, okay. so. He's heavily, he's heavily religious, but don't know what denomination he is. Okay. Okay. Get this bitch ass out of here. <laughs> he didn't know what his denomination was. Like, I feel like every religious person knows what their for denomination real. is. He definitely here. cares about his religion way more than I do, and I know that my denomination like the back of my hand. I don't tell anyone that I'm a virgin. It's definitely something I really keep under wraps because I feel very like embarrassed and ashamed of it, like I've failed yeah, somehow. So, uh, yeah, all y'all fucking virgins out here, bro, look. Ain't no, don't rest into losing that shit. Don't lose that shit to some fucking nobody, bro. Cherish that shit. Like, you don't fuck son, fuck son, because you like them. Just cause, not because you're just like embarrassed and you're trying to, like, you know, impress your homeboys and shit. That shit's lame as fuck. Like, I'll be clowning for being virgins. And if I do, I'm just playing. But it's really not that serious. It's really not that fucking serious. But, can't be me. I'll be fucking. <laughs> I'll be fucking, fucking, <laughs> fucking, 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 Now, fuck, fuck, once fuck, when fuck, I was fuck, in college, fuck, I was in this creative writing class, and the teacher declared promise, your next assignment is to tell the true story of your first kiss. And I was like, oh, God. And then she followed with, I know you've all had it. And I was like, oh, double God. <laughs> I do, yes, admit that I feel pressured to have sex because everyone else is talking about their guy, their girl. And I'm like, okay, I'm just like, what the F, you know? Like, five 
been in band my whole life, starting in middle school, and I'm still oh, yeah, in my college show. marching band. It's actually kind of uncommon when you say he a virgin for sure. Niggas gonna be in band his whole life. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not. The version of I'll kind of look at you like <laughs> you play clarinet and you've had sex. <laughs> uh, growing up, I played football my whole life, and so that was a very big. I would say definitely at that time, I felt the pressure of just society saying like, "Dude, you haven't had sex, just go for it. It's easy." I would rather wait. I'd rather wait. That's me. I just felt like what Aaron said was really smart and it felt like a big CSI moment. So I was like, oh, he definitely got him. That's it. Get him out of here. Get him Bummer. out of here. I don't remember. I wish I had like a virgin card I could show you guys or something. <laughs> if you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. I'm just super curious why you two, I guess, didn't want to continue. Because I think it was Alex. Yeah. I think we are virgins. Yeah, I thought that what you said during the last round was super smart. It felt bro, like a big CSI moment. It's definitely him. I mean, he's not a virgin, bro. He thinks he's 32. Like, oh, if you're wrong, then like, I don't trust anything anymore. I think you definitely had the vibe of like a band kid who hasn't done it yet, which I can say because I used to be a band kid. What'd you play? I played trombone. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but so you guys oh, yeah. think so, there's yeah. still a. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. here's the thing Aaron, I think it's you. And, and respectfully, like, respectfully. Sure, I sure. think it's because you're imposing what you are on, onto what Alex was. And that's maybe what you did, and I'm thinking that you're, mm, what's it it's called? Not. One more thing is just that because of, you know, your age and everything, I don't yes. think age is, that's it okay. should matter. That's okay. It's hard to believe, um, yes. Do you, I guess, like, what was your longest relationship? About a year, a little over a year. And then was there times where she wanted to, like, escalate it? Because I know you're, you know. I've only dated Christian right. women. Right. And so they've also wanted to maintain a oh. certain level of purity. Okay, I see. Cool, ominous. It just seemed like he wasn't as confident as he was in the previous round, so I was like, okay, he gotta go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If you think the mole's still in the box and you wish to continue playing, please raise your hand. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. In the way. In the way. Two, one. What? It's you, huh? No. It's you. You, you weren't no, surprised. You no, weren't surprised. It's you. you weren't surprised. No, you looked right at us. No. You weren't surprised. On the count of three, can the mole please step out? One, two, three. What up, y'all? <laughs> What? It was this nigga? <laughs> what? What? No way. You tell me this man, this man never got, never felt pussy before, but this freaking goofball, yeah. <laughs> this goofball did. Oh my goodness. I am shocked. No cap. He good. He good. Like, oh, I wanted to see him, but then the way he was talking, I'm like, nah. But turns out, you get hella meow meow. Well played. I like it. I like that it. was well played. <laughs> I believed everything that you said. I mean, most of what I said was true. Those those personal stories, they were from before I, you know, did the hunky dong. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> I trusted him. I was like, oh, he plays trombone, I play clarinet, we're good. What? Nigga, Wait, so nigga, this is a bug and shit. Like, oh, bro, we both play band. Oh my God, we play trombone. When did you have sex then? Um, like eight times with, or not eight times, but with eight different people. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Eight different people in it. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> shit. My bad. Goddamn. Meow, meow. <laughs> he get meow, meow. The big thing, the most important thing that I will probably say today, and that's to all of the young men out there who don't look conventionally attractive and feel like they will never find love or sex because of it. No matter what you look like, there are plenty of people who are into that. It's just up to you to find them, treat them with respect, have good hygiene, you'll be just fine. Oh my God. Celebrate with your cash winning. <laughs> bro. Hey, that was a good video, bro. That was a good fucking video. I swear, I'll, I'll blow, I was still surprised. Damn. Fuck.